Father's Day with a cup of coffee and some classic cars. It doesn't get much better than that. And here to tell us a little bit more about how you can take part is Frankie Patino with the San Diego Automotive Museum. Frankie, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate it. Hi, thank you for having me. So this is a monthly tradition, right? But it seems like it's even more special when you get to do it on Father's Day. It is. We started it a little over a year ago, and the first time we had it, we had about seven cars come to the event, and over the months, it's grown and grown. Now we get anywhere from 90 to 120, and there's cars of all makes and models, and there for sure will be a car that your dad will fall in love with and probably want to go out and buy the next day, um, but there's something for everyone. I don't doubt it. I mean, I'm thinking of all the cars that I, I'm assuming are inside the museum, but I mean, this is all outside right I mean people can come out and see all these different styles of cars right yes yeah, so it's completely outside um, and we invite the public to actually come and show off their own cars so outside we probably only have one or two museum cars every other car is the local communities or people even drive in from LA or we've had someone come even from Arizona the last time so and you never know what you're gonna see we, we have anywhere from the Ghostbusters vehicle to the Wienermobile um, to muscle cars exotics a little bit of everything what do you think it is about cars that just sort of brings people together that they want to, to come out and show it off and just have people find joy in these pieces of metal. I mean, it's really all they are, but there's so much passion built into them. There really is. And I think it, it is just that. It's passion. Um, the newest car that we have in on the, in the museum is a 1932 Ford pickup. Mm -hmm. And the exhibitor actually contacted me because her father had passed away. And this was his car that he worked on his whole life. He, he built it from the inside out. And when he passed away, he wanted she wanted to show his passion to everyone and keep that going. And mm -hmm. it's really, there's a lot of love in these cars. And even if you don't own one, you can appreciate the love that goes into it. No doubt about it. That's such a cool story also. Thanks for sharing that with us. And you mentioned everyone, they'll be able to see the cars, of course, but we mentioned coffee. I think there's donuts as well. So what else are people going to be able to, uh, to see and eat while they're there? <laughs> so we will have donuts and coffee provided by Geico of Encinitas. It is on a first come, first serve basis. Um, we usually uh, do, we'll run out around 9 a.m. So if you want car, donuts, come before 9 a.m. Um, and then walk around with your coffee. Your kids can eat donuts. I know my kids probably come back for seconds every time. Um, <laughs> So enjoy. So you brought up there, make sure you get there before 9 a.m. So what time do things start? When does it end? And is there any price that people need to know about? So outside is completely free. The event starts at 7.30 a.m. and goes till 9.30 a.m. Um, and inside the museum, we actually open our doors early on Cars and Coffee Sundays. Hmm. So we open them at 8 a.m. for a discounted price of $10 before 10. Very good. And I think I remember reading in my notes that the gift shop will be open and that can be a great place to find a gift for dad. Am I right? You are most definitely correct. If you forgot to do shopping or want to even get him something else, you'll for sure find something in there. We have t-shirts to um, car memorabilia to books and everything in between. Frankie, thank you so much for stopping by. This sounds like an absolute blast. We're going to have to send a camera because I've got to see these cars when I come <laughs> in tomorrow night. <laughs> yes, please do. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. You too. Well, Disney is debuting.